In the previous video, I've told you about the periodic motion or oscillation. And today I'm going to talk about the simplest model of that kind of motion. And this is called the simple harmonic motion. In the last section, we know that in a periodic motion, there's always a restoring force acting on the object to pull it toward equilibrium. In order to be considered as simple harmonic motion, that force has to be proportional to the displacement. But why do we have the minus sign here? That is because the direction of the force is always opposite to the direction of the displacement. According to Newton's second law of motion, force also equals to mass times acceleration. So we can rewrite ma is equal to minus k x. Dividing through by the mass, we get a is equal to minus k over m times x or a plus k over m times x is equal to zero. And we also know that the acceleration is the second derivative of position with respect to time. So we can write the second derivative of x plus k over m times x go to zero. And this is the equation for simple harmonic motion. And the solution for this kind of equation is sine and cosine functions. So the position as a function of time can be written as with x is the position, a is the amplitude, omega is the angular frequency, t is time, and phi is the phase angle. We've known these quantities like position, amplitude, angular frequency, or time, but what is the phase angle? The phase angle represents the state of the object, like where it is or its position and where it's going, like its velocity. And we know that the velocity of an object is the first derivative of its position with respect to time. So B will be minus omega A sine of omega T plus phi. And the acceleration, we take another derivative. So these are the equations for simple harmonic motion. In a simple harmonic motion, the angular frequency has the formula of omega is equal to square root of k over m. And we can also derive the formula for t and f, which is the period in the frequency. Let's look at an example to see what we can do with them. Okay, let's look at the problem 14.13. A 2.00 kilogram frictionless block is attached to an ideal spring with force constant of 300 newtons per meter. At t is equal to zero, the spring is neither stretched nor compressed, and the block is moving in the negative direction at 12.0 meters per second. Find a, the amplitude, and b, the phase angle. And c, write an equation for the position as a function of time. First, I will sketch a diagram here. So at t is equal to zero, we got x naught is equal to zero because at this position, the spring is neither stretched nor compressed, which means it is in its equilibrium position. And the velocity v naught is, but it is moving in the negative direction, so we have to add the negative sign before the number. We recall the functions of x and b. x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi. And v is equal minus omega a sine of omega t plus phi. And again, at t is equal to zero, we have x is equal to a cosine of just phi because t is equal to zero. In v, I should write x naught, right? v naught. 
minus omega a sine of pi. If I divide through the first equation by a, I will have x naught divided by a is equal to cosine of pi. And if I divide through the second function by minus omega a, I will have v naught divided by minus omega a is equal to sine of pi. So at this moment, if I square both sides of these equations, I will have cosine squared is equal to these things squared. Sine squared is equal to these things squared. And we also know that cosine of something squared plus sine of that thing squared is equal to 1. So if we add both sides, we will have x naught divided by a squared plus v naught divided by minus omega a squared is equal to 1. We can derive a by multiplying both sides with a squared, and we will have x squared x naught, I mean, plus v naught squared divided by minus omega squared will be omega squared is equal to a squared, or a will be the square root of x naught squared plus v naught squared divided by omega squared. And we substitute the numerical values of those things, we will get the a. But there is a problem. We do not have the value of omega here. We have omega is the square root of k divided by m. So that omega squared will be k over m, and we substitute it into this equation. We will have a is equal to square root of x naught squared plus v naught squared over omega squared will be k over m. And then we have square root of x will be 0 squared, v naught will be 12, actually minus 12. 0 squared divided by the constant, the force constant 300 and times the mass of 2 kilograms. And then I will get the result 0 0.98. So now we have the amplitude of this simple harmonic motion. The next thing will be find the phase angle. So I will go with the function of x first. x naught is equal to a cosine of pi. And if we divide through by a, we get x naught divided by a is equal to cosine of pi. Or actually, it is 0, right? Because the x naught is 0. So which angle that the cosine of it will be 0, pi will be plus minus half of pi. So which one we're going to take, the plus sign or the minus sign? We don't know. We have to take the second equation. V naught is equal to minus omega a sine of pi. And omega is the square root of k over m a sine phi. Or sine of phi is equal to v minus v naught divided by a and times reverse of this one will be square root of m over k. And if we substitute the number, we get minus 12.0 divided by 0 0.98 times the square root of 
0.000 kilograms divided by 300 newtons per meter. And we get almost one. So pi will be positive pi over two. That's it. So the phase angle will be pi over two. And lastly, we have all the informations we need. So x is equal to the amplitude cosine of omega p plus pi, and it will be 0 0.98 cosine of, oh, I gotta calculate the angular frequency, right? I'll write the numerical value here, 300 divided by 2, and it is, I will take this number, 5 square root of 6 radians per second. Plus pi over 2. And this is the function of x. Okay, that's it for the second video of this series. I hope you have learned something from this video and see you around.